for the next round of bands here, or sorry, for the first pick here, it looks like Clinton is going to go ahead and first picks Lux in the mid there. Although that Lux could flex down to a support role there as well. And we're going to go ahead and see Rock you first pick their jungler, which is going to be a Warwick. It looks like they're going to go ahead and pick their ADC, which is going to be a misfortune as well. That Warwick's going to have a tough time with Lux. Uh, with that snare, then we're going to go ahead and see a brand. A brand support is really OP right now uh, because it's another support that doesn't really build support items. Uh, pretty popular in solo queue. And we're going to go ahead and see a Zin Zhao jungle coming out here for Clinton. So uh, pretty AP heavy with the what I assume to be the mid laner and the support there. Uh, and then the AD jungler, the Sona uh, support pick coming out here for Rock U. I like the Sona pick with the MF. So depending on which runes that the Misfortune uh, elects to take here, could easily uh, give that speed boost to, to MF or even to Warwick for that matter. So if they can get uh, into the team fight earlier for Warwick and for uh, Misfortune, just really be able to run down the enemy team. So we see the Lucian ban coming out for Rock U. Uh, Clinton's going to go ahead and respond with an Ari pick there or an Ari ban. And Rock U is going to go ahead and with their final ban. I'd probably go with another mid laner. And they're going to go ahead and get rid of the Renekton. Another pretty popular pick right now in pro play. Um, with his ability to dash in and dash out, do some burst damage and get out. And Clinton's going to go ahead and ban out the, the Gnar there as well. So both teams elected to go ahead and ban away some top laners. And we're going to see a Nasus pick coming out from Rock U. Uh, into Nasus, you have a, a few good options. The Renekton definitely um, would have been a big issue for, for Nasus. Um, you can still play something like a Scion into that, or you could play... Um, even a Malphite into it. Just basically trying to keep Nasus off of the minion wave so he can't get those stacks or at least constantly be able to poke. A uh, Quinn uh, is super effective into that. And a, we see the Ziggs pick coming out mid. And we see the Urgot pick being hovered here. And we do see the Urgot pick. Now, Urgot did just receive some buffs uh, in the last patch here. So it'll be. Uh, interesting to see how that works out. I've not been able to see too much uh, Urgot play currently in the with the new uh, buffs or anything like that. So, uh, so if we do look at this matchup here, we do see that Clinton A is a perfect seven and zero, and we see Rock U is coming in at a four and two record with their JV team. Um, so both teams are pretty pretty evenly matched here. We'll see if Clinton A is able to go ahead and stay undefeated. Now, if we do look around the, the rest of the league here, so if we look at Varsity uh, as our state championship is getting closer and closer here, I just got off the phone with a uh, potential donor. They're looking to donate $1,000 to our state championship. So that's super, super cool. Um, Going to go ahead and confirm that when I can, but really exciting news to be able to hear something like that. But if we look at our uh, Division One for League of Legends, we got three teams that have only suffered one loss this season. We got J.I. Case, Cedarburg, and Wausau West. Then sitting in a kind of a clustered um, two and three losses there, we have Milton at five and two, and we have Arrowhead and Wilmont at five and three. Uh, Janesville Craig is sitting at three and four. Bayport at three and five. Waterford two and six. And Muskego one and six. Uh, Horlick and Waukesha West. Um, Horlick not able to find a victory here this first season of competition. And Waukesha West only has uh, four games recorded so far. So we are waiting to, to get some of those matches reported from Waukesha West. They still have some rescheduled matches. Um, April 4th at 4 p.m. is the last day in order to get your scheduled matches in. Um, otherwise, 
the team that shows up at 4 p.m. on April 4th will get an automatic win. Um, so if you're one of those teams that's rescheduling, April 4th, if you show up online and the other team doesn't, you get an automatic win. Um, we need to get as many of these results in as possible so we can have uh, a, a solid standing in order to do seeding. Uh, if we look at Division Two here, we got McFarland has has wrapped up the number one seed there at seven and one. Uh, Whitnell and West up here are both tied at six and two. Uh, Tosa is sitting at four and two. Montel is at three and two. Uh, Oconto and Walden third are both sitting at four and three. Uh, Clinton's varsity team is sitting at four and four. Baraboo's there at two and six. Elkhorn and the Wisconsin Dells are at one and five. And St. Catharines not able to find a victory this semester. Uh, I do believe that they had some some great ineligibility issues that they were working around as well. So um, important to make sure that you maintain grade eligible uh, if your school requires it. There are some schools that don't. Um, I always highly, highly encourage grade eligibility. Do take a look at some of our, our other other games going on here or our other games uh our overwatch here we have two undefeated teams uh bayport and horlick horlick hasn't lost a single map this semester so that's pretty darn impressive there uh, and then we got quite a few schools kind of sitting at the two or three losses there in the middle so gonna have to use our, our map percentage wins in order to go ahead and do some some seeding and ranking here so uh if we look at our Rocket League standings. I do believe we have another undefeated team. We do, which is Wilmot 1. They're sitting at a perfect 6-0. and McFarland sitting at 7-1. and So, again, we still have a handful of games that need to be replayed there on Rocket League. Uh, some schools looking at, they have three games reported. Others have only two games. So, there are some schools that got about five matches that need to be reported. So... You see uh, that this NASA's player is going to be a first time NASA's. If you uh, don't check our Discord channel too, you really should. Uh, there's some interesting things uh, being talked about today. We had a new college join us. Uh, we had Ottawa University uh, join us, and, and they're recruiting for League of Legends, Overwatch, Hearthstone, and Rocket League. So they posted a flyer in our channel, so make sure that you go ahead and, and check that out. They actually do have a broadcasting um, department as well. So if you want to learn how to do some uh, broadcasting or publicizing of like what we're doing here with all the live streaming and stuff like that, they actually have a program dedicated to it. So check that out. Sorry about the the dog barking. There's somebody in his neighborhood. So I do think that we're going to see that could be a Ziggs ADC. With a, yeah, it's going to be a Ziggs ADC with a Lux a Lux mid so at least I think so I'm still kind of confused here uh, Ziggs did buy a dark seal and a refill potion but I do think that's going to be a Ziggs ADC so that'll be it's kind of a interesting not something you see too often doesn't look like either team is really going to go ahead and invade clinton's got quite a quite a bit of vision there on the river so i, I don't think that they're gonna try to do anything funny there um just gonna go ahead and get those early buffs get those early advantages and start to get back to their wave so we do see that akali did go ahead and get some vision down there in the river nasa's elected to use the ward early there on the river um, one benefit from uh, dropping an early ward here 
is that if your enemy is coming up this side of the river, you know that they helped leash here. Um, whereas sometimes, so like if you're on the red side here, this is when this is applicable. So like sometimes you will invade here. So if you're on the blue side, if you ward here and you can see that they come this way, you can then ping your jungler that they went ahead and stole your blue. Um, so it's just a way of being able to point out some counter jungling. Because if you invade on the on the other blue side there, you're gonna put the enemy jungler at a bit of a time delay. So if they elect to go ahead and try to scope out their, their blue and notice that it's gone, um, that's a bit of a time waster. So if you already know that that's gone, you can you can path accordingly basically do you see that uh ergot is going to go ahead and he's going to pressure he's going to put a lot of pressure on this nasus but nasus with the q up in the top lane is going to be uh able to sustain a little bit and to stay there a little bit longer um for nasus oh he's going to be caught out here might have to use the flash probably should use the flash does use the flash um the Nasus should be able to regain a little bit here and there uh, with the stacks from the Q. You do get a little bit of a, a, a healing proc from that. So do you see that Urgot is going to go ahead and shove this first wave under tower? Nasus may be waiting already to see if he can go ahead and <clears throat> buy a little something, but he elects to, to just TP back to lane. <coughs> um. But we do see that Lux is getting a little bit of a CS advantage. And both members in the bot lane down there are, are kind of at a bit of a stagnant there at about 7 CS apiece. It does look like that Rock U's bot lane is pushing up quite a bit. Do you see that Lux able to go ahead and get that down? And then Akali is going to go ahead and use her heal in order to get out of that. Um... Mm, probably should have considered holding on to that heal just because lux is only level four right now if she was level six then i would say definitely go ahead and pop that heal um and we do see uh warwick coming up here to try to get a little bit of a gank down here gonna go ahead and see the slow warwick's taking a lot of damage nasus is coming in behind i don't think nasus is going to have enough damage and we're going to see zin Zhao now coming in too so nasus has already blown his flash Going to see the knock up there from Zinzan. There's nothing that Rock U is going to be able to do about that. So that's going to be first blood going over to the Urgot up in the top lane for Clinton. And now we see that Zinzan, knowing that Warwick is pretty low on health, can probably go ahead and probably look to try to do a 1v1. Trying to look for him here. Not able to find him. Urgot, or uh, Warwick's pinging for help. And he's going to go ahead and find... Zin Zhao and Zin Zhao's got some really early game damage um, so Warwick's gonna have to go back and find find his mid laner here and probably back to safety <coughs> Zin Zhao pops that so knows that Akali and Warwick are, are kind of teaming up there do you see Brand is starting to get quite a bit of damage down here uh, Lux has hit level 5 and is getting uh, somewhat close to going to hit level six there. Let's go ahead and check that. She's about 50% of the way to getting to level six. So once once Lux hits, hits level six, we'll wait for that all in play. And we do see that Urgot does have a two level advantage already up in the top lane. That's gonna be pretty big. Um, not a huge CS advantage, but still has that pot. Again, we see Lux able to go ahead and land this. She drops the ignite. And the Ignite is going to be enough in order to go ahead and secure the kill on the Akali. Nas is trying to go in on, on Urgot here, but Urgot's got just so much burst damage that there is nothing that... Ur Ooh, Nas just barely gets away with his life. So we see Zin Zhao and Lux are both rotating into the bot side. And I don't know, I don't think there's... That Rock is going to be able to get away. Sona goes and gets snared. She drops the Ignite on Brand, but that's... Brand's got way too much health and is going to go ahead and be able to, to hold that off. Lux gets the kill, so Lux is now sitting at 2-0. and And so when Lux decides to back, she's got enough for the lost chapter. I assume she's going to go ahead and go with the Luden's Echo as the first item. <coughs> she could probably get the lost chapter and probably some boots. 
So now Ziggs and Brand are going to be able to really push up this bot lane. Uh, Brand's trying to put down some, some pressure there on, on MF to just keep her away from this wave. There's a big wave. Um, Clinton should look to back here as they have the cannon minion wave here. Um, don't stay too long, otherwise, you know, you're pushed up. Warwick's got the ability to get behind you here. And now that Sona's beefed up her support item, she's almost able to get Brand all the way down. So see, Ziggs and Brand waited a little bit too long here in lane. Now Ziggs is going to go ahead and get caught out here by Warwick. Going to go ahead and have to use the flash. Sona is able to go ahead and get a little bit closer. We see the snare. Sona's trying to get in one more auto attack, and that's going to be it. So lingered way too long there. Needed to go ahead and back when that cannon wave was under tower uh, when it was safe, but decided to try to pressure that turret and paid the price. Lux able to go ahead and snare. Lux still has elected to not back yet and uh, cash in probably nearly 2,200 gold. So um, should easily be able to get a, a pretty large spike here, but has elected to go ahead and stay in lane. Xin Zhao is going to go ahead and find Warwick again. Again, Xin Zhao's got so much damage right now. Going to probably... Sona and MF are going to go ahead and come to Warwick's aid. <clears throat> they need to be careful, though, because Lux is six, and Lux does have her ultimate. So if Lux is able to go ahead and land one of these snares and ults, she's got Xin Zhao, and Brand is coming behind here as well. Trying to go ahead and pressure him out of the, out of the river there. They are able to do so. Brand smartly drops a control ward down on this first rake, which is Infernal, which is one that both teams are really gonna wanna try to fight over. Um, Lux is sitting there in the mid and there comes the Lux ultimate. Uh, Akali's gonna go ahead and have to drop the heal and tried to back away, but Lux is able to go ahead and secure that kill, putting herself at three and O. Oh. So Lux should be probably pushing this wave and then looking to go ahead and go back to base and have a bit of a spending spree here as she's sitting on about 2,800 gold, so. Urgot's going to go ahead and flip Nasus in once again. Going to go ahead and see the ultimate, and here comes the suppression. Going to go ahead and drop that Nasus real quick there. Always got to remember that once you see your enemy laner hitting that level 6, and if you haven't seen him use it, assume they still have it. So um, Nasus lingered a little bit too long there, tried to get a little bit too aggressive going into this Urgot, and Urgot made him pay. Urgot's able to go ahead and get two turret plates um so far off that top turret so got about a 320 gold advantage he's sitting at about 1500 so he's going to be pretty close to being able to go ahead and finish up that what i assume is going to be the black cleaver first two seconds the dog's ringing the bell i gotta let him out hold on See Brand being sneaky in the bush. The Ziggs with the dunk. Gonna go ahead and secure the kill on the MF there. So Brand sitting in that bush. Uh, Miss Misfortune did not bother to check and pays the price. So do you see a turret plate going over down to Ziggs and Brand? Uh, right now they should be able to go ahead and rotate now for this first Infernal Drake. They got priority in the bot lane. Uh, they can see where all these members are. Again, Warwick getting suppressed there she's gonna go ahead and suppress the lux the lux trying to get the shield but is not able to get it and the warwick is gonna go ahead and be able to go ahead and secure the kill but akali might have lingered a little bit too long able to go ahead and dash away and get out unscathed so good shutdown there for warwick on the lux gonna go ahead and cash in about 650 gold Again, now we should see that Brand, Ziggs, and Zinn are looking to go ahead and start up this Infernal. They know that Warwick went top, um, and they can see that MF is down there on lane. And and Rocky doesn't have any vision down there on the river, so this should be an uncontested Infernal. <clears throat> see the Nasus Ultimate coming out, and we see Warwick coming as well. See that uh, Urga elected to go ahead and back and get... Oh, the MF alt is going to be enough to go ahead and get Brand down. 
And so we could see that, oh, the flash is not enough. And Warwick is able to go ahead and get the shutdown on Urgot as well. So Rock U Jungler playing the important role. The big question always in solo queue is better jungler wins. So we'll see which jungler puts more pressure on the map here. And so far, you could make the argument that Warwick has helped the most so far. Uh, despite Xin Zhao having three assists here, um, I think I think the Warwick plays have made a little bit more of an impact. Uh, it was able to go ahead and help Miss Fortune secure her kill. Uh, and it's going to help this Nasus get at least one turret plate, maybe two. So that's going to be pretty helpful uh, for Nasus up there in the top lane. <clears throat> Again, we, we do see that there is um, a little bit of a CS advantage here in the mid. Uh, bot lane is in the favor of Rock Yu. Uh, jungle roll for Xin Zhao is, is advantageous. Uh, Urgot, unfortunately, just barely missing uh, that snare. But again, we're going to go ahead and see the suppression. And they're going to pull in Nasus and it will secure that kill. So now we're going to go ahead and see Xin Zhao and Urgot potentially go down maybe for Rift. Or maybe they're going to look to try to team up in mid. And it does look like that they're going to go ahead and try and go for the Rift Herald here. Because they see that Warwick is in the bot save. Sona playing the same thing that Bran did and just sitting in the bush waiting for him to come. So you can get some of those uh, ch cheeky Spell Thief pokes. <clears throat> Do you see that Sona is electing the... She's got part of the, uh, the crystal here. Or the catalyst um so maybe sona's gonna go ahead and go for like a rod of ages build or maybe she's looking to try to get a lot of ap and gonna go abyssal mask um gonna go ahead and see sona oh the nice the nice stopwatch oh the warwick comes behind and gets the double kill so that's gonna be a uh, uh, warwick getting pretty far ahead here we do see Shelly's being called in the mid. Going to go ahead and see quite a bit of those turret plates going down. We do see that Urgot's got the demolish, so we could see that another plate goes down here. Uh, Urgot not able to go ahead and get that that shot on the plate. So we do see, we're going to see 4v3 in the mid here. MF trying to chase him down. Again, that's the good combo there with Sona and MF. You're able to go ahead and speed boost her so she can get up there and go ahead and land some of those barrage shots. So now Warwick's starting to get quite a bit ahead here in front of Xin Zhao. Um, the Ziggs in the bot lane. We do see the, the Lux ultimate coming down. Not doing enough damage here in order to go ahead and burst the Akali down. But Akali's definitely going to have to play a lot more. Oh, I was about to say a lot more defensive. And then uh, Lux went and just sniped it down there. So I, I will be curious to see <clears throat> how some of this bot lane action goes down here. Brand. Uh, overextending a little bit here. But Warwick has to respect still the, that tower damage that is there. And we do see that Lux is back in here. And she's got another 2,000 gold to spend. So she's going to be able to go ahead and complete her Luden's Echo. And uh, might even be able to go ahead and complete her Sork Boots. And she is able to go ahead and do that. And we do see that Urgot has got this turret down to about 50%. Trying to find a way. Going to go ahead and get the Demolish hit on it. Uh, and it is just going to go ahead and back away. I do imagine that we're going to go ahead and see the first turret dropping, most likely here in mid, uh, given Lux's itemization here. Um, so unless unless we see quite a bit of uh, Warwick in the mid here, again, Urgot putting a ton of pressure down on this Nasus. Nasus pops the ultimate. Going to go ahead and have to play safely under, under the turret again. Brand just poking oh we're gonna see the kobe move and the brand ultimate as well but it's not going to be enough with that sona there as well and so we do see lux and Xin Zhao are able to go ahead and secure that first turret in the mid uh brand getting caught and uh zig's getting caught there by the sona ultimate and that's actually a really good combo that they're using down there in the bot lane for for rock you that that sona ultimate to snare him and then the mf ult coming out and we do see that the Lux just ulting away. We do see that Warwick is now getting snared. And that's going to be a shutdown going over to Xin Zhao. So 
now Clinton's jungler gets quite a bit of shutdown gold going in his favor. Um, and that's going to make a, a huge swing. And we see that Nasus doesn't have any vision in the river. And here comes three members up into the top lane. Zinzao's going to go ahead and first slow him down. Lux is going to go ahead and snare him. And that's going to go ahead and be another kill going over to Zinzao. Three members top. So Clinton's got their eye on going for this tier one turret up there in the top lane. And they got the wave. They got the people. They got the damage. They're going to go ahead and secure that top turret. Uh, uncontested here from Rock U. So that's going to be a 2 to 0 turret advantage there for Clinton. Do you see that Rock U's bot lane is starting to get a little bit further ahead here? We see that MF sitting on almost 3,000 gold here. So MF really should consider backing. We do see the Urgot TP coming in down here to the bot. Didn't want to get any sort of uh, infernal advantage. So could see that when we do see that Urgot has started up the Infernal Drake. See five members for Clinton all down here in the Dragon Pit. They got enough damage there. They do have the Chilling Smite. They could look to turn this. Oh, the Lux Ultimate coming out. And that was a great snare. So she's able to go ahead and secure the kill on Sona. And this is going to be a huge team fight here in the advantage of Clinton. So they could be looking. They have, they have a wave kind of pushing in their favor right now in the mid. Uh, that they could be looking to go ahead and open up this first tier two in the mid lane. All five members are just going to put a ton of pressure down mid here. They got four minions that are going to be able to go ahead and take some, some shots here. Urgot's going to go ahead and have to back up. Took one too many turret shots. Warwick, noble sacrifice, but you're going to go down, bud. You can't 1v5. And now Urgot's got the Demolish set up and is going to go ahead and be able to go ahead and put this turret pressure. Oh, but the MF comes out of nowhere with the ultimate and is, everybody was extremely low and that almost turned into a quick and easy pentakill for MF, but unfortunately not able to go ahead and secure the kill. And all members for Clinton are going to go ahead and have to back. NASA split pushing as Nasus does and is able to go ahead and get one turret back here for Rock U. So it looks like Rock U trying to clear out some of this vision that Clinton has down there in the river. Darius? Do you see that Lux is now sitting at seven, one, and three? So she's got quite a bit of a of an advantage there over the rest of I would say Rock U. If she's able to go ahead and get that snare and then able to drop the ultimate, she should be able to go ahead and basically half health the entire team. Um, as as Warwick and Nasus are the only ones with Merc treads. I do see that Sona did finish the Rod of Ages. Um, so not building a, a typical support. Um, I guess if it makes her a little tankier. Uh, so we do see, again, the Sona ult coming out to try to snare. MF is probably going to go ahead and drop, and MF goes down. Lux gets the snare on Akali, drops the Ignite as well. And so Akali thought she might be able to get away, but the, the Ignite's going to say, no way, Jose. See a little bit of counter jungling here from Warwick. Going to go ahead and find the Urgot. But Urgot's just holding off for a little bit here. Going to try. Oh, the suppression comes out. Urgot able to go ahead and deal enough damage that he's got the, the Black Cleaver completed. And he's looks like he's going for a little bit of a lethality build. Um, I'm, I'm not super familiar with uh, playing Urgot. But I've not heard of too much lethality being built on Urgot. So I'm going to have to go ahead and... And check some of that uh, op.gg uh, build there and, and see what we got going. Clinton's being uh, pretty aggressive here. They're able to go ahead and break into the base. So they're going to go ahead and start looking to get one of those inhibs down. <clears throat> they could be looking to try to trap this Nasus out. Um, He's all out there by himself. So we do see that uh, this Nasus is going to go ahead and get caught out. There's going to be the constant CC chain. Going to go ahead and see Urgot now in the front line here. Not enough. The MF alt not going to be enough because the Zinzao drops that... Um, that invincible uh, ultimate that he's got there. 
Urgot's got to be careful. Zig's going to go ahead and use the heal in order to help Urgot get out unscathed. So that's going to go ahead and be a kill and an important kill going down in the favor of Rock U. So they get all that shutdown gold on Lux. Um, should help them swing some item builds a little bit more in their favor. We do see that Warwick and Nasus have <clears throat> that cloak built there. So I would imagine both are going to go ahead and go with Spirit Visages. So, and Nasus is able to go ahead and complete his right as I go ahead and say that. So they're going to start to get a little bit tankier here. And a tanky Warwick is a huge pain in the butt, especially in the late game. Once he gets, you know, two or three items built, um, he's got just so much regeneration that he can be a, a huge pain. So... does look like clinton is trying to put four men in the mid here uh gonna try to put quite a bit of damage down Xin Zhao gonna go ahead and get that sona alt and now he's gonna see a lot of damage coming down from mf here comes the zigs ultimate as well need to be careful in the back line here warwick gonna go ahead and try to be chasing them down right now zin's just holding on for dear life clinton could really just turn around and they are they're gonna go ahead and catch this mf trying to face check some bushes so it doesn't matter if Warwick chased him down. Now Warwick is so far out of team fights here. He's going to go ahead and have to try to, to TP back. Oh my god, what kind of range is that on the Urgot ultimate? From downtown sniping. So going to go ahead and be able to get the first inhib down here. Uh, Clinton's looking to put some pressure down here on these, uh, these Nexus turrets. And I think they got the damage. They got that Ziggs who's just able to go ahead and chunk turrets down real quick. Um... Able to get that first one down to about 50%. So uh, Clinton knows that they can be aggressive. Nasus just, you know, just doing Nasus things down there. Just split pushing for days. Uh, probably going to be able to go ahead and get his second turret there, that tier two. Um, meanwhile, his team is trying to 4v5. So Clinton does send uh, Xin Zhao down there uh, to try to, to deal a little bit with this Nasus just to push him back. Push this wave out and slow him down a little bit there. But... Uh, Warwick now has completed his spirit visage as well. So um, getting a little bit tankier here um, to the to the AP damage. But again, now you have the issue that uh, that Urgot, you know, is building lethality and has Black Cleaver. So there's no armor to stop anything. And we're going to see <clears throat> quite a bit of, of true damage coming out here pretty soon from this Urgot. So... Um, it does look like Rock U has elected to go ahead and go down here, try to get a Drake. But again, as they're working on, on a neutral objective here, you got Clinton that's pushing five members strong up here in the top lane. So you you get the you get the Drake and a little bit of a buff, but now it just costs you a turret. Xin Zhao's gonna go ahead and go in on Akali, and Akali's gonna go ahead and drop. Um, and again, so now we see so you, you got the Drake, and now so Warwick and Sona are, are trying to push on the bot, but you have your open inhib in the mid there, so super minions are now starting to push into the into the base. We see that Clinton is doing a pretty good job of rotating here. They can see that Sona and Warwick are down there on the bot. They're going to go ahead and try to get this red buff over to their Lux, wait for their next wave. And again, you got super minions now knocking on the door there of those Nexus turrets. Shona and Warwick can stay down there all they want. Now it's going to be a 5v3 for Clinton A into the base here. And they got the wave clear that they can easily push this down here. Again, we see Xin Zhao is pushing down on this turret. That's going to be the first Nexus turret. Shona and Warwick still just staying down there. The MF alt comes down, but you still got five members. Here comes another wave of, of super minions. And we're going to see, there goes the Akali. So now it's going to be a 5v2 here. Clint, I think Clinton's got this. If Clinton really wants to push and be really aggressive here, you know the MF alt is down. Uh, we're going to see Ziggs pushing down on that turret. That turret's going to stand for uh, less than two seconds. The Urgot goes down, but again, now you're right on the Nexus. There you go. Zin Zhao and Bran got the, got the idea. They're going for the Nexus. They're going for the win. They're going for the undefeated JV season. So... Congratulations to Milton there on completing the JV season undefeated. 
Sona and Warwick down there trying. They broke through the in-hit. They were trying to get trying to get it, but just not enough. And and so that's again, that's gonna be a perfect semester going over to Clinton A's JV team. Congratulations. That's gonna be it for me this week. So uh, next week maybe we will have some rescheduled games and hopefully I can get them on stream. Otherwise, have a great weekend and stay safe out there.